like a kid. I can do all the things Diego can do. Don't you think so, Big Row? Ah, Bernard, would you go <sighs> into town and do some shopping for me? <laughs> but I have to chop all this wood. Shopping is just kid stuff. I suggest you leave chopping to a Diego. It'll take all the day with a little thing like you doing it. Why don't you go into town and do some shopping? That would be more useful. Maria, I can chop wood as well as Diego. Watch this! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I told you to leave it. Now will you go shopping for me? <laughs> it's not fair. Everyone treats me like a little kid, but they'll see. I'll show them. Huh. <gasps> Bernard! Huh? Bernard! Hello, Bernard. Nalita! Are you going into town? Yeah, I'm going shopping. Oh, good. I can take you half the way there. So come on, climb aboard. If you're not going into town, where are you going? I'm going over to the Vasquez's house. Oh, I didn't know you were going off to Nikita's place. Why? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Hey! Lolita! Lolita, it's me! Hello! Hello! Morning, Nikita. Morning. Good morning, Lolita. I'm Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Uh, hi. Hello, Lolita. Thank you for coming. Hello, Mrs. Vasquil. I'd like to thank you for coming over, Lolita. We would take Nikita with us, but you see, she gets a little travel sick. It's okay, really. Nikita and I are gonna have a great time together. Isn't that right, Nikita? We always have a really good time. Lolita is so much fun! We have to visit an aunt of mine who's hurt her back. It's not serious, but we really ought to go and see her and make sure that she's okay. We should be back sometime tomorrow afternoon. Are you sure you'll be okay looking after Nikita until tomorrow? We'll be fine here. Please don't worry about us. Now, you be a good girl while we're away. Do everything Lolita says and make sure you go to bed when she tells you, okay? Okay. Goodbye. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. See you tomorrow. Bye! Hey, great! Come on, let's go inside. I know lots of games we can play together. We're gonna have a great time. Sure we will. And Bernard's gonna stay with uh, us as well. Aren't you, Bernard? No, I'm sorry. I can't. I've gotta go shopping, but thanks for asking. Oh, bye now. Bye. Come on, Figaro. Bernard is in a real hurry. It must be something very important he has to shop for. Ow! Huh? Oh, he's fallen over! <laughs> Come on, Nikita. Let's go inside. Now, let's see. i got to get some meat, egg, potatoes. i got to find some pepper. Huh? What's happening over there? Hey, kid. What are those men wanted for? This got nothing to do with you, kid. There's no need to be rude about it. I only asked. All right, all right. They're wanted for a string of burglaries that have been committed in the area. Wow. $5,000 is an awful lot of money. If I could catch those guys, I'd be rich. <laughs> so you are going to bring in these three tough guys single-handed, are you? If we can't catch them, what makes you think a little shrimp like you has a chance? I'm not a shrimp, and I could catch those guys because I'm much cleverer than you, and stop laughing at me! <laughs> Take that! Oh! Ooh, oh, oh, Yay! Oh, Let's go, Figaro! Oh, you oh, yeah, come back here! Come back, you little crook! Come back! Hey, somebody stop oh. that kid! You can't get away from me, kid, Shh. and if I ever get my hands on you, you'll be sorry! You. Shut up. You want everyone to know what we're up to, you idiot? I've warned you before your big mouth could get us into trouble. So ah. shut up! I don't like it, boss. My horoscope was lousy this morning, and these cards tell me I should have stayed in bed. It has to be tonight. The owner and his wife are out of town until tomorrow, and there's only the little daughter left in the house. We'll never get a better opportunity to break in than this, so I say that we do it tonight. The boss is right, Jose. We gotta do the robbery tonight. Oh. Oh. How many times do I have to tell you to keep your big mouth shut? Shh. <gasps> Still, it won't be easy robbing the place if there's a daughter and a babysitter at home. Look, the daughter is just a kid, and the babysitter's not much older. Some girl called Lolita, don't worry. Are there any others? Some servants sleep in the outhouse. They'll hear nothing. You got it all worked out, boss. I don't know how you do it. Okay, come on, move it. We have to get ready. Right. 
It's the three men on that poster. I better run and tell Diego quick. Hey, wait a minute. If I could catch those guys myself, I'd be a real hero. Hey, what a great idea. I can catch those dirty bandits on my own. Huh? 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 <gasps> what is it, boss? I thought I heard someone following us, but there's no one there. Nah, you must have imagined it. Yeah, you must have, boss. Maybe I did and maybe I didn't, but you can't be too careful. Don't forget, there's a price on our heads. <sighs> that was close. <gasps> well, you're right, boss. This kid's been following us. Well, what are you following us for? I, uh... Look, kid. When I ask a question, I expect an answer. Got it? But I wasn't following you, honestly. I wasn't. I'm just doing a few errands, and I guess I kind of got lost. <laughs> you must think we're pretty stupid, kid. I'm going to cut you to little pieces. <sighs> Don't be a fool. If you use your knife on him, we'll have every lawman in the country on our backs. And with what we have planned for tonight, we can do without the attention. So it looks as if we're going to have to arrange a little accident for our friend. You touch me and I'll cry for help! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you watch behind his ears, boss. <laughs> What's going on? Is someone in trouble? Hey, boss, you better stop. Someone's coming. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait for me. Ugh, ugh, that sure was close. <coughs> hey, thanks a lot, Figaro. <coughs> <sighs> I have to get over to Nikita's house and warn them about those robbers. Uh, you going somewhere? Over to Nikita's house. Oh, really? Why are you taking that old saber? You certainly don't need to take this. Leave me alone. It's none of your business. Do you want me to give you a hand? No, I can do it by myself. I'm not a kid anymore, you know. Now get out of my room. Go on, get out! Hey! Out! Hmm. Well, hello again, Bernard. How nice to see you. Is there anything I can do for you? I've decided to stay over. I see. So what happened to make you change your mind so quickly? Well, I just couldn't leave you two alone up here all night without a man in the house to protect you, could I? Who is it, Lolita? Who's at the door? Oh. Uh, hi there, Nikita. It's just me again. I've come to help you. Well, it's very kind of you, Bernard. But I really don't think we need your help. I'm sure we can manage. You don't understand. Some robbers are coming. They're gonna break into your house. Oh, I see. We're gonna get robbed, are we? I'm scared. Don't worry, Nikita. Bernard's only saying that because he wants to stay over. That's not true. I said it because I know that robbers have been watching this house. Okay, Bernard, okay. Do you want Bernard to stay, Nikita? Oh, yes, Lolita, yes. Please let Bernard stay the night. Okay, Bernard, you can <sighs> stay here and protect us. <laughs> Have you finished those potatoes yet, Diego? I just brought this to a boy, so I really need them now. Well, where's Bernard got to? This is his job. Ouch! If we waited for Bernard, it would be next week before we ate supper. That's typical Bernard. Yes! Lolita, please come in. I have something to tell Maria. Go ahead. I do hope Bernard's not in trouble again. He's not in trouble. I'm going to stay over at the Vasquil's house tonight. Bernard came over earlier today and asked if he could stay over with us. I just thought you might like to know. No, oh, that boy is cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Is it all right if he stays? If you don't mind putting up with him, then I guess it's okay. I'll come and get him if he gives you any trouble. <laughs> if you did that, I don't think Bernard would ever be able to forgive you. I've never seen anybody quite as happy as Bernard is right now. Happy about what? I'll tell you. Oh, I see. 
He even made up some story about robbers trying to break into the house so he could stay. Robbers, did you say? <sighs> Leave me alone. It's none of your business. Nikita's very happy, too. I think she likes having Bernard around as much as he likes being there. Robbers? Maybe Bernard was telling the truth. On guard! Ha! Ha! Take that! And that! Ha-ha! Gone! I'm more than a match for robbers! Ha! I can take on the three of them! Ha! Oh, no. I'm certainly not going to catch any robbers with this. Ah, oh, shucks. Bernard! Huh? I thought you'd like a snack. Huh? I warned you robbers not to break into my friend's house. Why don't you take a break and have something to eat, Bernard? Hey, Nikita! I brought you some homemade cookies. Want some? Oh, well, they look great. I've tasted some cookies in my time, but these are great. It's very kind of you to say so, Bernard. Thank you. Here, Figaro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sure make great cookies, Nikita. Oh, Bernard, you shouldn't, honestly. Here, have another one. Oh, I'd love to, but I honestly couldn't eat another crumb. I'm absolutely full. <laughs> I should like to say, Bernard, how very glad I am that you decided to stay with us tonight. To tell you the absolute truth, I was a bit worried about the two of us being here all along tonight. Now, don't worry. You will protect us if the robbers break in, won't you? Huh? Of course I'll protect you. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Nikita, would you come and help me prepare dinner? Coming. Saber or no saber, I'll protect you. What are you doing? Uh, it's a good luck charm to help you sleep. <laughs> Just trust me, okay? Good, it looks like everybody's asleep. Shall we do it now, boss? Well, as this is such an easy job, I thought I would let you two morons do it alone. Huh? huh? Us do it on our own? Look, you two idiots are going to have to do a job on your own eventually. An easy job like this is just the thing to give you the confidence that you lack. You're right. Look, I'm not sure about this. We've never done a job on our own before. Shh. I'm telling you, there's nothing to be afraid of. Ah! Hey, wait a minute. Wait for me. Ah! Oh! That's a stupid place to put a hole. I could have broken my leg. Ah. What's this? Ah! Uh oh! Who put the lights out? Thanks for the shower. I was looking for time to freshen up. Come on! <laughs> Ow! Stop that yelling! What are you trying to do? Wake up the whole household? Let's try around the back of the house. <gasps> I'm gonna check this one. It's okay, Jose. This one's not hot. Looks like this place is wide open for us.
Feels kind of spooky in here. There's nothing to worry about. We're safe in here. Whoa! Uh, Whoa! Oh! Well, that was no accident. Somebody has set all this up. Hey, up here you guys! Ah! Now, why don't you leave while you still can? It's that kid! Let's get a hold of that brat and finish him off! Right. Come on, come here, kid! Come here, kid. Yeah, You're come gonna on. get yours. Come here! Whoa! <laughs> Let, let's see if you like the taste of cold steel! Oh. Hey, 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 Come here! What are those two idiots playing at in there? How long does it take to deal with kids? I'll go in myself. Oh, the leader, I wonder what that noise was. That's just Bernard crashing into things downstairs. He's being a naughty boy. What's this? I think that's just about far enough, don't you? And who do you think you are? I'm the man who's going to stop you going into that house, and here is my signature. All right, Zoro. Let's do it. You guys had enough yet? You gonna leave quietly? Your last chance. Okay, we're going. Just don't hit us anymore, please. What's going on out here, Bernard? <gasps> hey, what's happening? Huh? Nikita, Lolita, look out! You leave Nikita alone, let her go! If you want her back, you'll give us all the money in the house and be quick about it. Nikita! Ah! Well, finish it then. I want you to leave this place now. Ha, you must be joking. Ah! <laughs> Come on, kid, hurry up. We want all the money and the jewelry that's in the house, and we want it now, see? Oh, the kid gets it. Can I help you, please? Ah! Huh? Ah! This is where I make my name. I'll become famous as the man who killed Zoro. <laughs> Are you ready to die, Zoro? I'll get you for this, Zoro. I'll come back and get you, you see if I don't. Oh! <laughs> Just give us some money, kid. Or maybe you'd rather I killed you first, is that it? Leave him alone, he's just a child. Oh, so maybe you'd like to take his place, is that right? <laughs> this kid's given us too much trouble already. The boss must have been out of his mind. This is anything but easy. I smell something burning. Ow! 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 Oh, 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 oh. What is it? Just it! Yeah! <laughs> You'll pay for that, kid. I'll cut you in two. Huh? Bernard! <laughs> well, he should be okay now, Nikita. Oh, Bernard, you were so wonderful! Oh, gee, it was nothing. <laughs> and so brave. <laughs> well, I think we're finally safe. <gasps> Who is it? Oh, I think it could be one of them. Oh, I'm scared! Hi there, I just thought I'd come on over and make sure Bernard wasn't getting into too much trouble. Ooh. <gasps> oh, it's you, Diego. Well, not only has Bernard not been any trouble, but he also protected us from a couple of robbers. Uh, well done. Great, Bernard. Bernard sure is a strong and dependable man. Just the sort of man that will make a woman a good husband. A husband? Oh, shucks! Bernard's not a kid anymore. He really has grown up. Diego, help me! Somebody help! On 
second thoughts, maybe Bernard is still just a kid after all. In the next exciting episode, our friends take a stagecoach journey with some strange companions. They encounter the notorious Red Wolf Gang, who interrupt their journey to fulfill some evil plan. The people on the stage are heavily outnumbered and at the mercy of this band of cutthroats. One man could save them. One man alone. One man called Zorro.